white teeth, showing through the white teeth. You can see the thong busting on my tight jeans. Okay. Rocks on my fingers like a nigga wife me. Got another shorty, she ain't nothing like me. Yeah. About to catch another fight. Yeah. The apple bottom make him wanna bite. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can see from the title of today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieve this super super cute pantone knots on my hair using braiding hair as well because my hair is kind of short if you want to see how i achieve this look please make sure you watch the video from beginning to the end so you don't skip or miss any process <laughs> So right here, I'm just parting the hair. I want to have like two sections, the front and the back. And then I want the back section to have like six um, bantu knots in total. And then I want the front to have like five bantu knots here. So that means altogether 11. As you guys can see, I was literally struggling with my hair, trying to make my pattern as straight as possible. Like, I have to go over and over and over again, lose my hair, check if it's straight. If it's not straight, I will pat it. I spent literally almost one hour trying to get a straight part. It's crazy, guys. So, if you have someone at home that can help you with this, please just do it. It will save you a lot of time. You make the whole process faster. <music> So guys, I went ahead to do the back section of camera because I was finding it really really hard to like film and at the same time trying to get the pattern like neat and all that. So this is how the back section looks like. It's six in number. So I'm going to do the front section with you guys. I'm adding oil to my rubber bands because it helps like keep the rubber band in place so that it doesn't slip and also avoids like knotting up my hair as well. So I always do this anytime I'm going to be using rubber band for my hair. So I advise you guys do this as well. <laughs> So I'm using a braiding hair that is not pre-stretched, I'm using the normal braiding hair and I did the cutting 3 and then I used half of it. I'll leave the link in the description once in case you want to be sure. So I realized that the first clip was kind of dark so I had to like shift from that angle to this place right now. I think this is kind of bright enough even though the background is not giving but we have to work with what we have right? So yeah. Ignore the background and focus on the hair tutorial. <laughs> If you can't like start twisting like with your hair and the braiding hair when you've crocheted it in you can decide to braid it for me i prefer this method like it works for me but if you are finding it hard to do this particular method you can just braid the hair down a bit to where your natural hair stops and then you can start twisting it into this knot effect and then i you start from the down part and then you keep like twisting and then keep rolling it till the whole bouncy effect is fully achieved so i'm going to allow you guys to watch and like see what i'm doing it's self-explanatory so there's no need of me like talking too much and complicating the whole thing so i'm going to repeat the process a lot of times so you guys will see what i'm doing so just like watch through and if you still don't understand just leave a comment in the comment section <laughs>
band to like secure it and then like make it not to lose you know i have a short hair so if you have a longer hair you feel like it's tight enough then you don't need the rubber band but if you have a shorter hair and you want to make it last longer i feel like you should like use this rubber band method to like hold it and secure it more. <laughs>
trying out this hairstyle let me know in the comment section rate my hair from 1 to 10 let me know let me know in the comment section what you think <laughs> for me i'm going to rate myself a solid nine yeah because the parting was not really parting <laughs> But I tried. I think I did a good job with the parting. That is the only thing I think I have issue with. But apart from that, it's 10 over 10, baby. I mean, I did that. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know if you're going to be trying this hairstyle in the comment section. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye, guys. Bye.